Hey everyone, it's Michael here with GoodyReader.com and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to load ebooks on the new Barnes & Noble Nook Lowlight Plus. So this e-reader is fairly new and it is waterproof. Little do people know that you don't have to just buy ebooks from the shop on the Barnes and Noble ebook store, but you can also download ebooks from the internet, but they have to be DRM free because currently the Nook is incompatible with Adobe Digital Editions, which really means that you can't borrow ebooks from the library in either your EPUB or PDF format, and Adobe Digital Editions will not recognize the Nook as a device and this is similar to how it won't register the Kindle as a device instead the books are just automatically sent to the Kindle your options are few and far between I like Dropbox in terms of being able to send ebooks and have your e-reader access them and the Nook does have a hidden web browser how long it's available is determined on when Barnes and Noble patches it. So here's the instructions on how to access the web browser. So you basically open up any ebook on the Nook Glowlight Plus. What you want to do is you want to long press on a specific keyword, and then there's a little share icon that appears. You want to click Share with Facebook, and underneath the login button is a small button that says Help Center. Once you click Help Center, a browser pops up and then you can access Dropbox. So Dropbox, you probably are familiar with this by now. If not, it's just it's cloud storage. If you have ebooks on your computer, you can just simply register an account. It took me like three minutes or so. You can click upload. You can click upload. And you can see that it's fully uploaded already because ebooks are really small. You click done. All you do is just enter the Dropbox address in your internet browser on the Nicola Light Plus and then just log in with your credentials. Any book that you download will just get automatically downloaded to your device. Make sure when you download a book and you go to your library in the top left hand corner is a sync button. So you want to click that sync button and then it'll sync any new content that you just downloaded to your library so it appears. So Calibre is a free download I really like this program because it gives you tremendous flexibility in being able to really just edit books, get a lot of stuff going on. So here we have the Hydrogen Sonata by Ian M. Banks. The Nook is registered by Caliber. So what does Caliber do? Well, on a basic level, it allows you to swap in cover art, to change the name of the ebook, to change the author name of the ebook if it's part of a series. Uh, in many cases, why this is important is because if you download ebooks from the darkest corners of the web or just download them as you Google them, often the title name might be mixed with like the author's name and the author's name may be the ebook uploader's name and you know th your e-reader could quickly become cluttered if not all of this data is correct so this will allow you to change data and then save it you can also if your book doesn't have this sort of metadata attached to it you can download it and downloading is based on the author's name and book name so title, Hydrogen Sonata, author, EMM Banks. 
So there's different metadata depending on who you're downloading it from. So let's check Google's information here. What it's doing is it's fetching a cover art from all these different sites. So let's just choose the one from Amazon. Now you can see that the rating bumped up to four stars. And it has a special Google ISBN as well as the description has changed because descriptions of books sometimes change depending on bookseller to bookseller. And we're going to click OK. Now, because we have the Nook already associated with our computer here, uh, all I did was just simply plug it in via USB, downloaded the most recent version of Calibre. It automatically detected the Nook. If I have a book here, I can simply just click Send to Device and then Send to Main Memory. Fast process. Little check mark here. It's done. So this is just a brief uh, overview of Calibre. Now, one of the things that I really like about Calibre is being able to con uh, convert ebooks from one format to another. So I have Nora, Wa uh, Nora Roberts, The Witness. Now you can see this book is in Mobi, which is a Kindle format. So you can see that this is a Kindle format. This is incompatible with the Nook. But if you're, say, downloading a sample or you're downloading a review copy and it's in Mobi, it's like, okay, well, the Nook can't read Mobi. What do I do? Well, Calibre allows you to change the ebook format from one format to another. So I'm just clicking on convert ebooks, convert ebooks individually. Now the input format is Mobi and output format is automatically EPUB, but you can change it to whatever you want. There's a lot of options here, but I suggest EPUB with the Nook because that's the preferred format. Now you don't get daunted by all of this type of stuff here. This is mainly uh, designed for people that are making their own eBooks. And say you're writing an eBook in Microsoft Word and you want to optimize it for an e-reader. This is sort of why you would use these deeper features here. But when you're just converting ebooks from one format to another, you're just focused on this screen here. So I'm just going to click OK. Now converting ebooks takes a few seconds depending on your computer. Now you can see that it is with the EPUB format here. And Calibre has a built-in ebook reading app here so you could just like verify that okay on a on a six inch screen everything's going to be okay and then i can just simply send this again to my device and uh there we go so it just sent the epub version and not the mobi version so this is a quick overview of how to send ebooks as well as some of the limitations with Adobe Digital Editions and borrowing ebooks from the library. Um, of course, there's always good old Windows Explorer offers the least amount of flexibility, but you can just simply just copy paste ebooks into your main memory here. Alternatively, you can put them in my files or more documents if you want them to show up in particular shelves but I just copy everything to like the main memory and this is where Calibre has been copying them as well so if you copy them here you're not going to end the world so there's a few different methods hopefully this helped you if you have any questions or concerns drop a comment in this video for goodyreader.com my name is Michael and everybody take care